guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I'm going to be making some lovely little dangles now in my previous video I was making a little ring binder journal so I wanted to make some little dangles to hang off the side and I just think these would look lovely so super super simple because we like to be simple now I'm using some fabulous products from BB crafts um, and I'm using the chain and some beads now if you saw one of my videos that I did for um, the Christmas collaboration I used some of the chain on these beautiful Christmas trees and I just love them I just love the way that they sort of like hang sort of like freely um, and I just love it and this is the other one that I did which has got some chain on the bottom of the Christmas trees which looks beautiful so I thought I would do that idea to have the little dangles off the side of the journal of the little rings um, which are so so simple and these are the beautiful beads as well um, from BB Crafts now I am making making I'm using a selection of beads now um, I was sent lots of lovely beads these are ones that I've been sent before so I'm going to be using those um, these ones are a little bit too tiny to add onto here um, these are the mixed ones that I've got and they are just beautiful but the ones with the little tiny ones I have added them onto here which is some wire that I had which is this one which is the 24 gauge wire um, on here which works perfectly with these beads because they got very very tiny little hole inside um, which I didn't realize when I ordered them I didn't really look so that was a bit silly of me but I just think these make beautiful little little um boho beads don't they <coughs> excuse me and here look at these beautiful and these lovely little flower ones on there as well so I'm going to be using a sort of mixture these ones that I've done which I love I just think they are just so pretty I'll do a close-up of them as well I'm going to be using these as well which is a nice big package of those which are little um put the beads on the little pinhead ones which are lovely and i what i've done with these ones i've actually cut them off because i've got them like that and they've got that lovely flat end so when you put the bead on it doesn't fall off but what i've done for these ones because i wanted obviously the same colors to mix in together i've actually cut that off so i'll show you what i'll do in a minute just to make the, the round end because I wanted you have to have like a little little round end either side of there just to um, hang that off like that but I just love it now I'm also going to be using obviously I've got this lovely chain um, and I've got them in all different colors like this so we've got lots and lots of colors in that um, I will link the um, video for the unboxing that I did the other day as well so you can have a look now I've got a little silicon mat on here um, which I'm hoping will stop my beads from going all over the place um, like they normally do so I've got a nice selection and I've got also got some lovely little seed beads here which are silver ones so all of these beads are from previous um, unboxings and stuff from BB Craft. So I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, we shall see. Shall I go in just a little bit? There we go. Let's hoping you can see a little bit better. Okay, so for the chain, all as I did, I'm going to pop these to the side. Now this one actually has got silver and that beautiful, almost like rose gold in there as well. Um, this one is just the lovely... Um, antique one this is the beautiful i've actually popped some of these on the little um, jump rings um, so these are just lovely so they're ready to go silver one and then i've got a little mixed one there as well okay so all i've done i've cut these up into little bits of length so nothing really fancy i've just all depends how um, long you want them i'm going to be using some jump rings so let me just take a couple of those out. I'm going to be using the silver ones. So I'm going to just open up a jump ring. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the silver and this beautiful sort of like rose gold. Um, so it's really easy. Just thread the chain onto the jump ring. Now we don't want anything that's too fancy, 
too much, um, you know, fanciness, if you know what I mean. We just want ease. When you want to make something, you don't have to make it too complicated. So all I'm doing is just threading these on, just alternately, different colours of the silver and the rose gold, like that which looks lovely. So what's that? That's five on there. I think that should be enough, shouldn't it? Pop these to the side. So what I'm going to do then is just get my other pair of pliers. I'm just going to twist that together. Now what I think I will do as well, not in this video, but in another video, because I'm going to be hanging these from this little journal here on here like that because I don't want it to get pulled off what I might do because these are a little bit flimsy um, I wouldn't um, want them you know hanging off my my journal or my little ring I'm gonna pop a little bit of UV resin on there just so we know that that's closed properly and it won't come apart um, so I will do that in, in, a, in another video when I'm using my resin. So there we go. They, that looks lovely. So again, we can use silver one of these, which I think I will probably do. Well, let me just show you what I did. I've got one of our little um, pin posts like that. And I'm going to just chop that little flat bit off. Okay. And then I'm going to get my round head pliers like that. And I'm just going to twist it like that, just to make that little loop like that. And then what we can do, let me pop those out of the way. I've got these beautiful little sea beads and they're sort of like that lovely, um, which one did I use? Doesn't really matter, does it? The lovely sort of, greeny colour. It's just beautiful and that just fits on the end lovely. So we'll have one of those. Now I've got such a mixture of these lovely, lovely beads. What should we have on there? Oh, maybe we'll have a nice pink one. Oh, I can put that one on there. And then I can have a pink one. On there. And then what should we have? Another one of these? Oh, I don't know. I don't want it to be too big. There we go. That's pretty. I want them to be dainty. Um, I don't want big, thick, heavy ones. I want them to be nice and dainty. So I'm just going to hold on to the end like that. And then again, I'm going to twist it round and make a little loop in it like that. Can you see? Because we want a loop on either end. I'm going to close that because I'm so clumsy, I will probably knock it. So... Then we want to take two little jump rings. Let me use my other pliers. Open that up. Hook it onto there. And then hook that on there. And then we just close it up. So you can make quite a few of these. Oops, look at that. I just think they look lovely. Actually, I don't think I put a jump ring in between, did I? Makes it a bit too long. I'm going to take that jump ring off there. I think I just added it to this. Let's find the opening. Open that up and pop that on. That's better. As it makes it too long and lanky, we don't want that. We just want it. On my Christmas list, list I've got a new, I would like a new set of sort of pliers because these are a little bit wonky this keeps coming out and they're a little bit sort of rusty I haven't really looked after them very well so I put it on my Christmas list so do you think um, Andy will pop them in my stocking this year I'm hoping look at that how pretty is that just so dainty and lovely I just love them and really really simple I'm going to pop that to the side. Now I want to show you this one. I want to do one which is um, in these colours. So I've got these posts. The posts go with the wire. 
um, which is a really nice combination to buy um, because they all sort of like mix and match lovely so I'm going to have that one and then I've got these lovely beads in here and we've got this beautiful sort of like greeny colour which I think these colours go really well together so what I'm going to do I'm going to take another one of these little seed beads because they work just beautifully under there now shall I let's see should we put one of these on what do you think I think I probably need or well, maybe I'll pop a silver one that's a silver um, sea bead one of those these are beautiful because they're little spacer beads and they've got little sort of diamantes inside around the outside I mean look at that oh I like that we could have two of those I'm not sure but that's going to be long enough I think I might need a longer one I don't know if I've got a longer one I think I'm pushing it a bit much maybe I'll take the seed bead off just pop on the little silver one there we go I'll pop that on that's better isn't it look at that that's lovely then I'm going to just take this I'm going to just make a little loop in that again just like that really really simple open this up like this if I can find the little opening pop that through I'm really going to have to make a little boho journal, I think, don't you? Let's take one of these. I'm going to have to have a bigger one, I think, because that's going to have to hang off the little ring binder. Well, obviously it doesn't have to. But look at that. How pretty is that one? That's just gorgeous. I will do, um, like I said, a close up of them um, afterwards but lovely simple they really really are simple um, so again you don't have to um, feel like they're going to take a lot of time and they're too um, hard to make because they're not they are really really simple to make once you've sort of like made a couple you really will get used to doing them so I'm going to pop another little green one on there shall we have one of these look at these these are just aren't they just like a little bowl of sweeties let's pop some down there what should we have a little purple one purple and green go together beautiful doesn't it actually I might should I put this on there do you think that will look quite nice hmm not with the silver I think we need to make one out of this to go on there decisions I've got too many beads now actually I'm not going to put one of those on I'm going to pick one out of here what should we have in here now I'm loving that purple this is a nice one isn't it that's beautiful actually now I do like these crystal ones on oh I like that now don't have another one so let me take the, look they all come in these beautiful little boxes as well so everything is well packaged from BB crafts do you think that one's a little bit small under there I'm going to take that out what should we go for I'm going to go through a little this is a little see-through um, sea bead that we've got oops oh gosh I can pick it up I'm telling you when they're not um, hard work but sometimes they are hard work to pick up look at that that's beautiful let's get our little pliers so what do we want to do oh my gosh oops twist that round like that and bend it backwards so if you're not used to making little circles, little loops like that, just do your best, okay? There we go, loving that one. 
it's practice so if you do these things and you you just need to practice to do them pop that through let's pop that through there oops squeeze that together Get that, all that chain there are lots of different lengths on this one isn't there can you see if you didn't want them different lengths then obviously just cut them to the right sizes that you would like um, well, I quite them all, like them sort of like random sizes or lengths, should I say. See, these ones are quite um, thin, these little jump rings. So what you need to do, this is why I wanted to pop a little bit of resin on there just to hold it tight. <gasps> Look at that. Aren't they just beautiful? I'm loving them. So quick and simple to make which we do like quick and simple loving that one I really really do love that I love that blue in there oh, it's like a bluey green isn't it then we've got another one with a little flower on it another one like that oh, just love them oh what should we put hang on let's pop these away let's pop these to the side and I'm going to make one look I've got all the different chains on here so you can see the different chains that you get um, you've got the gold and then you've got the um, the copper, you've got the antique, that rose gold and then you've got some almost like a gunmetal and a silver in there as well. So anything will go. I think we'll use this one seeing I've already made it. And then we will pop a little one of these on. Oh, should we go for a black one? Look, we've got black. I've got two little black ones in here. Should I pop that one in? Like that. Should we have a little flowery one? That's nice, isn't it? Do you think we want something small underneath? I think a little pearl. I think that's going to be... I don't know, that's quite nice, isn't it? Little flower. These are beautiful. Another little black one. And then another little pearl. I will try. Oh, that's not a pearl. I will try and link all of the beads. Oh, I think that's too much. Very pretty, but way too many beads on there. Not going to be able to make a little loop. So I'm going to pop the black one, that one, and another black one. Like that. We do that so it's not so big. Let's bend that over. I'm going to just chop a little bit off here because I think that's going to be just a little bit too long. And then we are going to bend that around to make a lovely little loop. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oops, a little bent. Squash that in. Lovely. Now let's find the little loop in here. Like this. I might actually order myself some little silver jump rings and make some little charms for. I got this little lovely silver bracelet. I might make myself some little charms with sterling silver because it's a sterling silver bracelet. I would like to pop some sterling silver jump rings and beads on there I think look at that isn't that just gorgeous just so delicate let's pop a bigger jump ring on here got a nice mixture of jump rings in here sizes doesn't say on there but they are really really handy I love jump rings because you can just use them for all sorts of things Look at that, how lovely is that? Just gorgeous, love them. Now I do like these as well. See all these bees, I'm gonna be so happy all day long making things. So shall I make a little one for on here? Look, this one's got the little post at the end. So what should we pop on here? I do like these little glass beads here, the little ones. 
the little sort of greeny color ones. Green and silver is lovely, isn't it? That gorgeous. Oh, what have we got in here? Let's see these beautiful ones in here. Look at that green. That's a nice green one as well. I think that's going to be too big. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. What do you think? Oh, no, I think I can get away with that. Pop a little sea bead on top. Liking these green ones, they're beautiful. Let's just bend that over like that. I'm gonna just chop just a tiny bit off. Oops, don't lose your bead. Take this and bend it round like that. Oops. Gosh, I didn't do that very well, did I? There we are. Let's straighten that up. That's better. Perfect. And then we've got these lovely little dingly danglies. So I'm going to be making some more of these today. Just so I can have all of these in my stash. Now, I'm loving that one. That's beautiful. Um, so I can have a nice little collection. So when I want to go and make something, they are already there. And these little tiny ones like this are lovely for off the side of a journal page. I think they look lovely. So there we go, guys. There is a few ideas um, on there how to make little dingly danglies. I'm going to close that so I don't spill them everywhere. But I just think these are beautiful. So I will pop a link to all the little um, bits and pieces that I have used on here. And again, these are from previous um, BB Craft haul that I've had um, so I will link everything um, under the video for you so you can have a look but please do give it a go you might have some things at home already to do it um, but I just think these are so pretty so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye